circle the correct answer you do not need to show your work in number 10 we have the value of limit x square over e raised to 2x is so let's calculate this limit so we got limit of x square over e raised to 2x when x goes to infinity so when x is very very big very big is square that's even bigger so infinity e raised to 2 times infinity e raised to big is still big so infinity over infinity that means we can apply the L'Hopital's rule for this limit in that case what we do is we find the derivative of top on the top and derivative of bottom on the bottom e raised to 2x exponential function itself times derivative of inner function 2x that's 2 or we can write 2 on in the front same thing and from top and bottom 2x 2 to cancel and if we plug in infinity we still have infinity over e raised to infinity which is also infinity so let's do L'Hopital one more time derivative of x is 1 e raised to 2x itself times derivative of 2x which is 2 we can write on the front now the top is just 1 fixed and the bottom is e raised to infinity times 2 infinity 1 over infinity very big that will be 0 so the answer is 0 okay uh, there is a shortcut rule for this if you don't have to show your work look at this when x is very 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 big x square e raised to 2x exponential function grows faster than this polynomial x square so when this grows faster this becomes infinity so a number over infinity is zero okay this grows faster means bottom grows faster means whole thing becomes zero number 11 uh, 1 over 1 plus x square you cannot separate uh, this fraction into two fractions or there is no quotient rule by the way if you recall correctly derivative of tangent inverse x is derivative of tangent inverse is 1 over 1 plus x square so anti-derivative of 1 over 1 plus x square is just tangent inverse x now here we got two terms so anti-derivative of x which is sorry anti-derivative of 1 which is x minus anti-derivative of e to the negative x so e to the negative x anti-derivative that's e to the negative 1x by the way and when we integrate exponential function when we differentiate or integrate it will be always the same so minus 1x in the case of anti-derivative we need to divide by this constant which is negative 1 and negative 1 just write negative e to the negative x so anti-derivative of e to the negative x is negative this negative 1 in the front e to the negative x and plus c is always there so x this minus and negative make plus so x plus e to the negative x plus c so this is the answer in 13 now we need to find the anti-derivative of sine theta then we plug upper limit and lower limit okay if it is confusing from pi to zero generally we want zero smaller number in the lower limit you can just put negative sign and flip this limit so pi to zero you can always make zero to pi but the thing you need to pay is negative sine theta and this helps because the derivative of cosine theta is negative sine theta that means anti-derivative of negative sine theta is cosine theta check one more time derivative of cosine is negative sine now 0 to pi so cosine pi cosine pi cosine 180 negative 1 minus that's coming from the fundamental theorem of calculus cosine 0 cosine 0 is 1 so negative 1 minus 1 that's negative 2 